The redevelopment will allow for an expansion in the work among children and young people, providing suitable premises for them to meet. There are very few community facilities in the West End, and this church is providing that. Not just providing that, but we're providing people, youth work, so many other things. Instead of this building falling apart, it's redeveloping and uh, growing, and I would hope that the wider community would support that. A public Christianity centre is planned within the new development to engage with the media and to establish a centre of influence to promote Christian teaching in Scotland, throughout the whole of Britain and into Europe. One of the things we want to do with the church is turn it into a centre for public Christianity, which is really to do with apologetics. Now all that came about because of this, well first of all because of this book, Richard Dawkins' The God Delusion, and then a response that I wrote called The Dawkins Letters, which became no, a bestseller in Britain, but uh, allowed me tremendous opportunities. For example, here in Borders in Dundee, we launched a book in the cafe behind us, and it's just given us a tremendous opportunity to discuss Christianity and the Bible. The idea with the Centre for Public Christianity is to train people to be involved in this kind of cafe evangelism, plus also help people interact with the media, encourage people to take Christianity into the public marketplace. And I think that's a key part of everything that's involved, not just uh, bringing everything into the building, but from the building, taking Christianity out into the wider community. As well as a determination to make the message of the Bible available to the widest audience at home, initiatives are also promoted at St. Pete's to reach out to the developing world. The Hope Centre in Burundi came into being as the result of a meeting between a member of St. Pete's and a Burundi pastor. And mission teams are now involved in overseas projects to help families and communities. About two and a half years ago, I began a little organisation called Mission International. I think one of the big things I found coming to St. Peter's is a great level of encouragement, which is a big thing when you're trying to uh, hold down a full-time job as well as do uh, any kind of charity work. And so the encouragement has been great. Uh, people have also responded financially to help uh, with projects that we're doing. And this year, uh, which is probably better than all, is the fact that we're trying to raise a team uh, from St. Peter's to go to Burundi in the summer. And there's quite a number of people who are interested in that. So that's a fantastic encouragement to us as well. The congregation at St. Pete's are determined to make a difference. Believing that the gospel message changes lives and communities, they are dedicating themselves with enormous enthusiasm to making the gospel known and are using every means available to them. The modernization and development of their 1836 building is necessary to the fulfillment of their vision for the city of discovery and far beyond. Well, I'm quite excited about the development because I think it's going to make uh, the church in general a much more inviting place for the community, which I think is what the church really needs to be about, is, is inviting and attracting people in. So this is very much in line with what we're doing in terms of trying to address the needs of the community. Well, my primary concern, I guess, is for the students here within Dundee. And I would love to see the students who are able to live for Jesus and speak for him and actually know him. And so a contemporary, contemporary preaching that actually connects culture with uh, the Bible and an environment where they can learn and grow uh, would be ideal. And I would love to see St. Peter's being that kind of training ground for students for them as they go on into whatever they do, all walks of life. I think the development will really, uh, honestly, help help the youth work especially. We have more resources, more facilities. Looking at the plans, it's going to look a lot more uh, welcoming and a lot more open. That will be really good just for the community around about. So I think it will really help boost the youth work. It will be good. The significance of what we do here is this is not just about preserving a memorial of a great time, uh, you know, 150 years ago. It's about the gospel being communicated and spread now. And one of the things that we want to be, as well as doing the apologetics and the evangelism, is let people see actually the church can be real and relevant and can grow with normal people who are seeking to follow Jesus. That's why I think what we're doing here is of great significance and hopefully of great encouragement to the wider church. If you would like to learn more about St. Peter's and the Centre for Public Christianity, or if you would like to become a friend of St. Peter's, contact the office at St. Peter's Free Church, 4 St. Peter Street, Dundee, D6 
DD1 4JJ.